for approximately 1984, 83, 84, around there. We take you to a national tournament here. Albuquerque's John Tapia will take on Sergio Reyes out of Fort Worth, Texas. Johnny Tapia at this time is a young man representing the Albuquerque Police Athletic League. And this is a national tournament. John Tapia representing New Mexico. There you see him bowing down, down in prayer. Albuquerque's John Tapia, and he'll take on Sergio Reyes. Number seven, 112 pounds in the open division. In the blue corner, representing Fort Worth, Texas, Sergio Reyes. In the red corner, representing the Albuquerque Police Athletic League, Johnny Tapia. So the referee calls the two men to the center. They touch gloves, and here we go now. Three rounds of boxing. John Tapia taking on Sergio Reyes here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Vintage tape back from those amateur days. The great Johnny Tapia. There you see him warming up. Just a young pup back in those days. But boy, a world of talent. Taking on Sergio Reyes. If that name sounds familiar, it should. Sergio Reyes went on to represent the United States in the 1992 Olympics. So here we go, round one is underway now. John Tapia in the gold with the black trim. Sergio Reyes, the fighting Marine in the all white. And, uh, and Sergio Reyes, right off the bat, you'll see he was very, uh, very well known for his tenacity, a very tenacious, uh, aggressive fighter. And of course, Johnny Tapia known for his hand speed. Plenty of power, John Tapia racked up 65 knockouts in the amateurs. So he had good power in both hands. Tremendous hand speed and a lot of good technique. What a fine boxer, John Tapia. Of course, Johnny Tapia going on from here to win the USBA uh, Super Flyweight or Junior Bantamweight title. He was the United States champion. And Sergio Reyes went on to represent the United States in the Olympics in 1992. At this time, Reyes is undefeated as a professional as is Tapia. And now John Tapia gets a warning from the referee. You'll see uh, Tapia has a little bit of a height advantage, but Sergio Reyes uses that to his advantage. If he can get inside, then he'll go to the body and he's very effective. John Tapia with that good jab, he's got a good jab. He's deceptive, he's tricky, and very fast and a good hard puncher as well. Now they mix it up, center of the ring there. Again, top, ta Johnny Tapia with those uh, flashy combinations, hoping to be effective against the ferocious Sergio Reyes. These men fighting in the 112 pound division. And right now, here in 1993, Sergio Reyes possibly on a collision course with Albuquerque's Danny Romero Jr. And of course, John Tapia making plans to come back and regain his title. So you put these three together and look out. Something's got to give. And now both men landing with shots. There's a good right hand from Tapia. Again, a combination from Tapia and he steps out. Reyes trying to track him down. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. By the way, stay tuned because coming up after this fight, Danny Romero Jr. will take on Alberto Cantu from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi on the undercard of Larry Holmes and Kenny LaCusta. Danny Romero Jr. flying out his first really long road trip, and he'll go out there to meet Albert Cantu. Cantu is a very well-known fighter, 22-9 and nine with 12 knockouts. And he holds a win over Mexico's Javier Suzuki Diaz. So he'll be uh, definitely the toughest test to date for uh, Danny Romero Jr. And right now, John Tapia taking an eight count. And that ends the round. So Tapia gets stung there. He doesn't look, he doesn't look hurt, but amateur boxing, they're very safety oriented. And you look into the corner now of John Tapia here in this national tournament. I'm not sure what tournament this was possibly a, a PAL National Tournament or ABF National or regional. It could be regional too because we have Texas and New Mexico here.
Johnny Tapia. What a wonderful amateur boxer and what a great professional boxer. Will we see him in action again? Only time will tell. So we get ready for round two here. Sergio Reyes and John Tapia. And don't forget to write in, uh, take a shot at that free t-shirt. We have the, the uh, Pro Boxing Update t-shirt. All you gotta do is write in, send your name and address. One lucky person by June 1st. Now that has to be postmarked by June 1st. One person will win the t-shirt. Everyone will receive a free pro boxing update or flash, so you can't lose. And now both men beginning to swing here. Sergio Reyes trying to force Tapia back, but Tapia very smartly moves off to the side. He has tr excellent side-to-side uh, -side movement. There's a little jab from Reyes now, good work there. And now the laces come loose on Reyes. Referee adjusting that. We're back underway now. And now Tapia with a good combination. Again, John Tapia outspeeding Reyes. There's another good right hand snuck in by John Tapia. And again, he shoots those rapid fire jabs. John Tapia doing some great work here in the second round. Oh, and he goes down from the left. That is a slip. He was off balance. It was not a knockdown. Not a knockdown. So John Tapia goes down, but uh, it was only a slip. He was off balance, and Reyes caught him with the left hand. Sergio Reyes, known to be a very good hard puncher. And now Tapia gets a warning from the referee again. Ooh, and Reyes comes in now with a big right hand. And Tapia answers back, and both men trading shots now.